All right, I'm gonna make a quick little uh, video on how to. Uh, well, I haven't tested this yet, but this, what the the idea of this is to um, basically prohibit a person or user from playing WoW World of Warcraft. And I got the idea from my um, friend Garrett, who's recently become more and more into the game. I wouldn't say obsessed yet, because I've seen p people that are uh, far more into the game than him. So. Uh, I just kind of made it as a precautionary thing. I, I I thought about doing it to him and implementing it onto his system, but then I uh, I changed my mind because I didn't know how he'd take it. But I'll go ahead and uh, show everyone it as well as him just to see what I was thinking. It's a very simple, um, basic basic scripting. All it is is basically a batch file VPS script. Um, anyone should be able to do this. You don't need any programming experience per se. I'll show you all the syntax and everything you can do. It takes about five minutes to do and um, it should be pretty straightforward and basically what it will do is once it's on the user system everything's pretty much automatic it's just getting the file to the user um, there's multiple ways to do that but that's at your own discretion um, as far as but what I mean once the files are on the system basically what it will do is from I don't have WoW installed on my system but from what I've been reading is you have your WoW.exe and your repair.exe these are the uh, two core files um, for WoW. I believe WoW.exe is the launcher. Um, basically that's what you use to launch in the game. Without that you can't get into the game. Repair.exe is for rep repairing World of Warcraft if anything happens to it, any of your files become corrupt, so forth. So without these two core files, you basically can't do anything with the game. And um, if, if, you have a, if you try to do this to advanced computer users, they'll probably figure it out and get the issue fixed. But um, for basic and somewhat intermediate users, I doubt they'll be able to uh, correct this. Um, generally what most users will do is probably just reinstall the game and eventually give up. So this is a really quick and easy thing to do to your friends if they're starting to get too attached to WoW. It's a great way to uh, get them to stop. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do here. Um, first off, let's see, I already have the files downloaded. Two monitors, let me bring this over here. Okay, um, installs, here it is. Okay, I've already have everything uh, pretty much assembled. So I'll just show you the syntax and kind of walk through it with you. Um, for those of you who do not know how to make a batch file or VBS script, it's very simple. Just open up Notepad or Word or WordPad. Either one will work. Um, basically, what a batch file is is um, sending command command lines through a Notepad. If you open up your uh, command prompt, basically anything you type in here, you know, can be put through uh, Notepad. So if I was to uh, put in netstat or something and save it as a uh, just test.bat uh, all batch files will come or end with .bat I'll save it to my desktop just for testing purposes and you execute this and you have your netstat right there um, there's additional coding you can uh, put in there to uh, make it last longer and so forth but it's it's really basic syntax um, even if you don't know how to use command line or command prompt or any of that stuff you can just google certain syntaxes or just use this video and I'll show exactly what you need to do so um, with that out of the way notepad save as .bat that makes your batch file as far as VBS scripts go it's the same thing um, just save as and rather than .bat it'll, dot, it'll be .vbs and you can have the same syntax for the most part so let's go ahead and get started then um, we have three core files um, you have your setup file and you have a folder called MS Updater. You can name this whatever you want. I just named it something uh, that kind of blends in with the rest of the operating system. And within the MS Operator folder, you'll have the configuration settings, VBS script, and the MS Update batch file. Both of these are just bogus files. I named them to seem convincing so no one actually suspects anything. Um, let's see what the best way to start. And uh, once you have these three files, what we're going to do is make an executable of them, which I'll show at the end of the video. So let's see. Um, let's go to the core file here msupdate.bat, that's your batch file. Um, this is the syntax, this is the coding for the batch file, it's very simple. Um, your echo off, basically, um, if you had echo and you put words after it or something like that, that would basically just uh, display text in the command prompt. So this is not going to display anything in it. And um, after that, we're going to delete, and you want to put in your uh, directory, this is uh, the install directory for World of Warcraft. So you want to specify the wild.exe and the repair.exe. And that'll be del for delete. That's the delete um, delete command for uh, command prompt. So put delete followed by slash f slash s slash q in the spaces between all these. 
and then the directory you're going to put in quotation marks c colon slash program file slash world of warcraft slash wow.exe same with the uh, repair.exe and at the end of it just put an exit <coughs> to exit out of the uh, batch file and you can just save that and you're going to save it as whatever you choose to name it I prefer you do all this because you might have to edit, <coughs> edit some of the coding and just save it as dot bat in whatever directory you want <coughs> so I might do it so dry okay so that's out of the way I'm sure you all get that I'll put this like an annotation or something okay uh, let's see. next one we have to do is we have a vib uh, VBS script and what this is gonna do is this is gonna run the batch file in a shell and the reason we'll do it, we're doing this is um <clears throat> so um whenever you run a batch script even if you try to run it quietly it's still gonna flash a little black window which can seem uh, somewhat abnormal and make people suspect something's wrong with their system so th what this will do is it'll run in a shell and when it's running in a shell nothing's gonna pop up it's gonna kinda run in the background um, <clears throat> the syntax for this will be uh, create object and you'll put it in quotation marks w script dot shell dot run space and then the name of the batch file which is ms update dot bat in quotation marks and then comma zero and you'll save this whatever you want you save it the same as mine if you'd like and end it in the uh, extension vbs and you'll save and you want these two files in a separate folder I'll show you why in a moment here so um, it's also I should have said this earlier when you're doing all this it's best to create a separate folder just to work in just to make things more organized so we have this folder which has those two core files I just went through <clears throat> next thing um, is going to be the setup script uh, let's go ahead and edit this like I said you can name these whatever this is a uh, VBS script uh, we're going to start with echo off so it doesn't display anything and then we're going to run this invis invisible code which um, basically all this does is it doesn't display any text like if it completes successfully or whatever it's not going to display anything it'll show the black window briefly this is a one time thing and um, it won't display anything on that window any kind of acknowledgement that something's occurred um, so we got a call to quiet right here and this is the uh, end of it and this should null it out um, you don't have to comment it like I did the uh, two colons are basically just comments to help I'll determine where everything's going. Um, this command, uh, I should explain what I'm going to do with all these. Um, with the MS updater folder and a setup script, we're going to have these compiled into a, a zip file. And from the zip file, we're going to create an executable. When the user goes to execute the uh, file, it's going to automatically extract the files and folder into a specified directory. And the specified directory we're going to be uh, going into will be, let me get this, we have it right now. That's the uh, folder. Um, you can replace these or I'll edit it because every uh, XP profile, even Vista, they have separate user profiles in most instances. And by going to the all users, you can get it in their startup uh, folder, regardless of which account they're on. And for most people who aren't even aware, the startup folder is a folder located in Start All Programs. And um, basically, if you, someone puts a file in there, every time you log in, it automatically starts up. And not that many people are aware of that, but it's a really fun thing to do to set batch files in there. So that's where our all of our files are going to extract when they run that um, install or executable. So with that said, what this is going to do is setup's going to be located in the startup folder with the MS updater folder. And what this is going to do is it's going to move the MS updater folder from the startup folder and it's going to move it to the this random ass path. And the reason I chose this path is because uh, the local settings folder all accounts have administrator but the local settings folder is hidden so unless they have hidden folders enabled where they can view them actively they won't be able to even see this folder so they can't really navigate for it so this is a fairly hidden folder and all systems have it so anyways um, the command is move that's going to relocate the folder and the path you want to specify will be the C documents all and settings all users start menu program startup MS updater whatever you named it and put that in quotation marks since there's spaces within it space quotation mark and then the path of what that'll do is it'll leave the setup file the setup file will be uh, nestled right in the startup and as soon as they've run that um, as soon as they uh, log in next time this will execute the setup uh, file and this MS updater folder will be relocated to a hidden um, directory.